Hi, today we're going to look at an example project that's part of the Atmel Studio 5 development environment. This uses the UC3 A3 Explained development board together with the Pressure 1 Sensors Explained expansion board. To do this project you need to uh, assemble the two boards together, so this simply means taking the Sensors Explained board and plugging it onto the headers on the UC3 A3 explain board and we need to plug in a debugger and I'm going to use the JTAG ICE 3. Uh, we need to supply power so we're going to plug in a USB cable. So that's all of the hardware setup that you need to do to perform this project. So I have uh, Atmel Studio 5 already open I'm going to open a new example project. So we click on new example project. This opens the example project window. It's a technology project and we're going to look at a sensor project. So we click on the sensors projects and we're going to look at the pressure sensor demonstration using the UC3 A3 uh, explain board. So let's open that project. When we open the project it asks you to agree to a license agreement. I've already read that so I'm going to accept it. So now the project will open. This is the, uh, the project and what this uh, project does is it takes data from the pressure sensor which is measuring atmospheric pressure and allows us to view the data streaming from the device in a terminal uh, window. So we can download the program to the device simply by using the one click start without debugging option which will build the project and download it to the target device and this can take a minute or so. So now the project has been built and it's asking which uh, debugging tool we're going to use. In this case it's the JTAG ICE 3. So let's select that and say OK. And now the project is being downloaded to the UC3 device on the explain board. So that project is now downloaded. To view the output from the sensor we will use a terminal emulation program. In this case I'm going to use Hyperterm. So let's start that program. We need to select the COM port, in this case COM13, and the board rate which is 115200, so let's select that. And so now we can see that we are streaming data from the sensor. We can see the pressure in hectopascals and the temperature in degrees C. So this project is a very simple project to get you started to look at the output from the pressure sensor.